Hey guys, I'm not quite done with this menu yet that I'm about to show you, but I wanted to give you, quote, an inside look um, on what I'm doing to develop a way of detecting whether someone's using your left hand or right hand um, so that I can display options accordingly on my menu that best fits uh, their particular situation. Um, so disclaimer up front, not a crazy engineer. Um, I'm definitely working to, to be better about uh, the coding backend because I'm doing this in Framer.js uh, slash CoffeeScript slash JavaScript. Um, and then um, I'm also not really great at math, so this has been really a <laughs> huge trial and error uh, for me. Um, but I am really excited to show you what I've been working on um, in regards to that detection. So uh, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about it and show you how it works. Um, so I'm using uh, two different uh, factors in opening the menu to determine whether someone is using their left hand or right hand and then displaying options accordingly. Um, the first one is the swipe arc uh, that someone uh, does when they're opening the menu. Um, so based on a lot of reading I've been doing and some research uh, that Washington State did uh, not too long ago about hand posture detection with mobile devices and a couple other things like pressure and things like that, which is really neat. And I actually linked it uh, down below so you can give it a look. Um, but basically, one of the key takeaways from this article was that uh, people don't swipe in an exact straight line. And I, I know that seems obvious, but uh, why it's really helpful to know that is that it is clear and evident in their research that people that use their right hand um, will swipe towards the right from their starting point and those that are left-handed will do the exact opposite. So they'll touch a screen and swipe um, and it will be towards the left side. So that's really helpful because um, I can track, say, the first couple points that someone's making on dragging this menu and then make a determination on whether they're, they're left-handed or right-handed or the direction that they're dragging in and then make an assumption that uh, they're that particular hand posture and then display the menu accordingly. Um, another factor that I'm using to, you know, make it a little more fine-tuned as well as, you know, to eliminate as much error as possible is the y-axis of the accelerometer on the actual device. Um, so the y-axis is the, uh, this direction, left and right. Um, the, or actually, excuse me, it's not the it's not the y-axis is actually the x-axis that I'm using, which the x-axis in this case is left to right. Y-axis is um, up and down, and then the z-axis is, uh, in, in the case of device motion, which is the API I'm using, is um, acceleration, including gravity. Um, but like I said, I'm using the x-axis um, of the, the accelerometer to determine maybe a potential uh, hand posture indicator, like people that are right-handed will more likely turn their device towards their dominant eye, um, and vice versa for left-handed, um, or it might be flat, and so I can just assume it's zero. But in any event, I use both of those factors, and then in you know 0.5 second interval, um, I track some of that data and then decide whether to show options or not. So let me show you how it works a little bit. So like I said, um, based on the accelerometer and as well as the swipe arc, I can say swipe up like this and it will display these menu options on the left because it says, oh, this person's using their right hand. So I'm gonna display the text on that side so my thumb's not blocking it and then I can move the menu accordingly. Um, if I do it with my left hand, say, based on some of that data that I was talking about, I can display it on the other side so then it knows, oh, that person's left-handed and so I'm gonna display the text on that side. So it's pretty basic so far, and I'm looking to finish the menu, as I mentioned earlier. But if you're interested more in this, I can tell you more about it, I suppose. If you're interested in Framer.js or anything that I'm doing in, in terms of making this, I'd be happy to explain that as well. And if you think you have a better way of doing this or want to try this out yourself and want to brainstorm with me, like hit me up. Totally cool with that, too. So um, that's it. I will talk with you later.